A soul can only truly be at rest if it embraces its end. Humanity seems to have a hard time doing that. Those who love life too much to leave it face me can understand that only when they reach the end. People don't understand that falling over dead is actually quite pleasant. Why now? I was finally so happy. Exactly. I, I can't die now. A whole life ahead of me. Then like clockwork, their frantic babblings and subconscious will to survive forge the challenge. I can prove I'm worthy of life. Give me a chance. Very well. I will test your wits and strength to see if you are worthy of life. Your third challenge will be a duel against me. If you defeat me, you will keep your life. Fair? More than so. The puzzle is a simple one. Erase four of the 16 lines and leave four small triangles. It's used in this instance to make people feel like they can actually win their lives back. I know that a long life gets boring fast, so I take people to make sure life stays short and exciting. If people saw it like that, maybe they wouldn't detest me so much, or fight so hard to live. Okay, is that it? That's correct. Are you ready for the next challenge? Uh, yeah, as easy as that was. I want to start taking people in a more interesting way. I haven't thrown anyone into a volcano in a while. Ah! The torture knot, originally from India, puts the victim in excruciating pain as they try to reach for the knife. Its point here is to symbolize the struggle that is life, but people think I'm just watching them suffer. Imagine I told you that the last 50 years of your life you would be completely brain dead. Would you really want to live through that? Would you still hate me for taking you? As they beat the second challenge, they feel ready for anything. This is how it was designed, to get them overconfident. The final challenge is impossible. Anyone would realize the senselessness in trying to fight me. So they fall and die, thus finally realizing the beauty of the end.